All right, guys, what's up? It's Star Gamer X Mac here with another video. I'm here with my best friend Evolution. You want to say anything? Yo, yo, yo! It's Evolution. He's evolving just like me. All right. Yeah. So today was the yeah. Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct. Earlier today, I didn't get the chance to watch it, so we're, we, I decided I'm going to react to it with my best friend. So, you excited to react to it together? Couldn't be more excited, bro. Let's get into it. Let's get into this. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Help me reach 1,000 by the end of the year. And let's do it. I'm going to go full screen. Should I uh, share my screen? Uh, I got it. Okay. Like, wait. Are you watching it from my stream? On no, Discord? no I'm, uh, I'm recording it. With the uh, with the voices, all right, all right. So we're yeah, both at zero you, seconds. Are... We're both the zero seconds. So press uh, the space bar right now. Ooh, so exciting! Looking good so far. <laughs> it's also really cute. To the flower kingdom, a not so distant land. Oh, the flower Just kingdom, the, the castle. Kingdom. Whoa. Mario and friends were Mario invited here by the benevolent Prince Plurio. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other plans. With just a single touch Bowser of a mysterious sick. wonder flower. Oh. Damn, Bowser that looks sick. Prince Florian's castle. Oh. Holy crap. Whoa, the piranhas? Alright. Oh my god. Thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. Now, it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. Hey, the song? In this presentation, Ooh. we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder Game. I'm pre ordering Let's it. Jump in. Can't wait. Flower Kingdom. This All right. Is the flower Ooh. Kingdom. Wow. What the map? It's made up of Amazing. six distinct worlds that circle the petal isles, making a total wow. of seven areas to explore. That's incredible. Your adventure That's begins amazing. among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Huh? Once you we get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Oh, wow. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of Ooh, shining wow. balls. Traverse multiple islands, dive into the sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. A rich variety of courses await in each world. Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. Oh wow, like 3D in these world. Spaces, nice. If you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Wait, we don't have to play them in order? Once you play the wow. course, you can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. Wow. That's unique. You get to wow, choose whatever order you want to play the courses. Flowers. That's amazing. Close, yeah. Then. Onward and upward. How'd you get up here? What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you. It's crazy how there's voice acting. I know, right? Flowers. There's going to be so many secrets. Give you hints. And I, you can get I, I can't wait to, to discover them all. Or coins. You'd share your water? With me? 
I just don't like that plant talking. <laughs> That's the only thing. Besides Mario, oh, the character selection? Yeah. Luigi. Peach. Daisy. Where's Rosa? One of two toads. I maybe they might add her as DLC. Oh, totally. we play the same. So go with your favorite or Hopefully, bro. Hopefully. We need Rosalina for DLC. She's and Nabbit on the other hand won't take damage. Nabbit's playable choice, though. You're looking for a more easygoing experience. Oh, yeah. Careful though. Yoshi you know, playable. All right. They fall down a pit. So watch your step. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, we and play spit different color Yoshis too. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Melon piranha yeah. plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Melon? Wow, Cotton that's new. Will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. Those birds remind me of those when ones from attack, Galaxy 2 and the Galaxy 1. Goo. And the new flops, too. Can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Oh, that's cool. Mamas will eat anything that that comes too close to their gaping mouths. Wow. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas, Koopa Troopas, Boos, Locky Twos, and other familiar foes are also here. Locky Two. Wait, Pink Mario? Next, Bubble Mario? New power up, new power -up confirmed? In elephant oh, no, no, that's... Most of your nose. I never thought Besides, of Pink Mario. Swing your trunk to attack enemies. Destroy that's blocks. Sick. Oh. And What's Bubble Mario this? gonna look like? In this form, you can yeah. easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? Oh, wow. Pretty if you tight. store water in your trunk, and spray it out who knows what might happen okay that's clever with the that's elephant trunk sure to spray water huh? that's it's clever not just mario though yeah. luigi the toads okay i'm sorry toad this does not look right peach, as an elephant Daisy, okay oh no peach what's worse forms as well no <laughs> oh no allows you to blow light floating bubbles they can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance They'll also drift toward nearby foes. That's where, that's pretty good with Bubble, uh, Bubble you in Mario. One go. Bubble Defeat Luigi. typically impervious foes and oh, yeah, knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even baddies. jump off them, like platforms. Yeah, I've bubbles seen make that it a bit easier to get to those one. hard to reach places. Jumping on bubbles. Just like that. Oh, yeah, secret. Kind of. While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky or hard-headed enemies a breeze. Or you can use oh. it to drill down. It That's also sick. allows you to burrow Drill Peach looks so cool. Oh, Peach is after this cool. In a tough That's spot. such a drill. Yeah. Black and red Peach. Wow. I'm you gonna mean Peach and Marlboro's one. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Dude, I hope there's online and we can play. If there's online, Dude, imagine game, if we then can we gotta, double we gotta make, the, we gotta make that a series, me and you playing this online. Bro, right. I'm, I mean, Star Gamer, we have to make a oh, we have to make a double. To an extra power up. We have to make a let's play. In a pinch, I was just saying play. that. Look at how tiny Daisy looks. Yeah. Ew, ew. Okay, Daisy Swap looks the worst elephant. The situation. <laughs> Heck no. But I will say <laughs> the winter background is, is the best. And then lava is second. This is a wonder flower, a plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and wow. release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. I wonder how the Bowser boss fights will be in this game. A wonder effect will trigger, yeah. causing some interesting changes. The frenzies are going to probably get more intense as the more you move on through the world can appear i have a few the terrain may tilt oh man wonder effect you could end up in a free fall oh that looks cool wow Bubbles might uh bubble up oh wow your perspective can change look at luigi he's walking on the wall <laughs> what the float through space <laughs> there are even wonders where your character transforms Mario might become a Goomba? Honestly, 
Inspiration. Or a spike ball. Or wow. a blow up that, like, that sounded way. satisfying. When you touch Man, that's that power, power from 6040S. They brought it back. Collect a wonder Fat Mario. The course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. Makes sense. Mountaineering you Wicker also Race. Earn a wonder seed right. as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Badges? I think this is like achievements. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. Oh. There are a variety of badges, mm -hmm. each with its own special ability. Oh, that's cool. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with the parachute cap badge. Nice. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump badge. This looks like a DK Country kind of level, don't you think? Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin yeah. kick badge. You can also break are underwater you? blocks. Oh, dolphin kick? Charge up a bounding leap with the crouching high jump badge. Okay, that looks really Shoot useful. Shoot vines in midair and Ooh. stick to walls oh. with the grappling vine badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the safety bounce Oh, badge. that's so cool. Easily find important items using the sensor badge. Draw in nearby what is that? with the coin magnet badge. Invisible to your enemies and yourself oh, what? with the invisibility wow. badge. You will not stop dashing with the jet run badge. And you can run in the air for a bit. What? There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it! While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Oh. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. No, it's not. Pick your online. favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. What? If another player reaches them before time runs <laughs> out, they'll jump right back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Oh, that's, that's even cool. if you're also playing as a Yoshi. Or if you're an elephant. <laughs> oh no. What the Oh yeah, there's all my play. <laughs> yes! <gasps> you might see other players on the world map. And Bro, look at the chaotic on the map. <laughs> These are people from around the world enjoying the game in real time. Wait, worldwide online? Player shadows. Ooh. Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Players Wait, so we can play together and share in-game items. I think we can. You won't be playing together directly. You'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. You can also place a standee in a course. Oh wow! Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not so easy areas and help your fellow players. You can purchase standee surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts, gifting items, reaching the goal pole together, and more will earn you heart points. While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. Told you. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Oh, that's going to be race, fun, bro. We're going to go competitive on this. Block. Oh, yeah. Friend race? 
No. Star Gamer, you're going down. You're going down, bro. Yeah, no, Star Gamer. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed. Look at Bowser Jr. Look at him. All oh, the bosses. Wow. Whether you're casually connecting with players from I wonder what the final boss fight is like. Or syncing up with friends Me too. I have a feeling it's going to be something next to maybe Galaxy play. 3D World something. What a beautiful day. That lava um, standy or, or uh, power up that, that makes it so you can bounce out of it, that, that would be, that's like really helpful because the lava is so annoying. But I think my favorite power up is the bubble one. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends Whoa. when Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Plus, a new Nintendo Switch OLED model oh, Mario looks... Red Edition is also on the way. If you look closely, you'll find Mario and some hidden coins. Oh wow. The That's Nintendo cool. Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition launches October 6th. It looks amazing. Wow. <laughs> now okay, that was a lot to take in. Uh thoughts? Yeah. I think I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm yeah, just I got, excited. I gotta, I gotta share my screen. Cause... I'm excited to race. Yeah, me too. Me too. Um, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna share my screen here so, I, so we could revise. So let's let's go through this. Uh, man, we got the we got Bowser's ship that Peach's castle turned into, which is amazing. The mechanical piranha plants reminds me of like dry bones a little bit dead tree branches we got the different worlds so okay wait we got the flower kingdom i really like the way how they made the sky like area i mean i mean first of all what's like pink pink cotton candy which looks which is yummy i have tried it it for the first time uh when i went to the fair it was it was pretty good and favorite yeah. one and this one this oh yeah this water section reminds me of the you know the sand kingdom and mario odyssey yeah if he when you first get out of uh, mario's uh ship you go out to the right there's like a little pond if you go down below it looks really similar oh yeah it does You're right. and then there's even the hill over here that kind of replicates it a little bit Oh yeah, wait, this is the sign for Mario Galaxy. Or the billboard, or... Oh, it is. Whatever that is. It's Easter egg. Alright, what else? Wait. Is, wait, that's Luigi, that, this is Luigi's Mansion. Easter egg. This is... What else? Do a period. I think this is... I don't know what this is, but this is the question mark block, kind of similar to 3D World, where you can get some coins or maybe a power up. Yeah. The lava area, the pink pipe. I love the way how they how they did the castle. Yeah, me too. Uh, wait, is this a secret? Hold on. The lava area. Wait. This. This looks like, uh, well, you can go over here, activate the switch, and then it'll pull up the ladder down here or something. This look, oh yeah, this looks like some secret area. So, what, do you, what are your thoughts on the worlds? Um, I think that, um, they look amazing, and I'm excited to see what the mystery ones are. I think the best one for me would be the 
one, one of them was a snow world. I'm assuming it's oh, yeah. this one. The snow world is my favorite, but from these ones, I would have to say I'm really excited to see what Fluff Puff Peaks has and then Petal Isles. Yeah. This one, too. Uh, what else? And then this level right here with the platforming reminds me of one of the levels from Mario Bros. Wii where there was this ice pillar with this uh, ice cube. You had the duck right under it. Similar platforming. Oh, yeah. And then the new enemies look pretty cool, too. You can duck under this thing. Mario barely gets, gets hit by that. And I have, I have a feeling like the platforming when we first start to like react to it to get ready at first at first because it, we're not going to be expecting anything on in our ways and then we'll probably die so many times trying to learn yeah. how to do it and then get it right but yeah it's going to be a fun time for sure the honey though looks cool oh yeah the i just realized fire spike new enemy so Spike oh, really? is, is usually green, and I think there was a, a blue Spike, if I'm not wrong. And then as there's a red, a red one. And then these enemies were from 3D World, I think. Yeah. Yeah, ready, ready. This, this underground area kind of reminds me a bit of Metroid a little bit. And a little bit of the underground area from uh, Mario 3D World slash Mario 3D Land and the world map where you have to find a secret pipe to go under. And it takes it you to... Because it looks like there's something above this lava. So... Yeah. But what would, you, what would you say is your favorite world from the showcase? Mm. The snow one, probably. Nice. Oh yeah, this is the the level select thing, right? Courses, or this is for online yeah. play. Oh yeah, World One, Pipe Rock Plateau. So I guess this is if you want to fast select to another world. That's the kingdom map. That's kind of cool. The layout. And I just realized these two blue elephants. This pink Koopa Troopas are new. And then the here's normal spike. All right. The talking flowers, of course. Yeah. And definitely the character selection is pretty big. I wish they added Rosalina as a playable character, but if they do make a DLC, depending on how successful this game sells, then Rosalina would be my main. But for the time being, I think I'm going to either play peach or mario but who would you select i think mario why why would you choose peach peach or mario or toad for me why why choose peach i didn't know you were a peach fan or after the mario movie you said you yeah after the fan. mario movie I, I became peach fan so plus the way how they animated her like the the the, the modern design design for mario for the 2d games look they show more personality for the characters than the New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, DS, 2, yeah. on the 3DS. So I, I just think the way they showed Peach was kind of cute, so I just want to play Peach. And Mario looks really cool too, especially with the bubble power-up. And you know the bubble Peach power-up was, uh, was a drip, remember? Oh, yeah. So I'm definitely going to play was, for that. It was the drill one, right? The drill Peach. It was the I think it was either drill or bubble. But it was drill. It was drill. Okay. For Peach and yeah, it was black and red. Yeah. See, like look at look at the way how they animate, like the, they show yeah, more personality amazing. for the characters. So just Toad, Toad is just adorable, honestly. Yeah, he's so cute in this game. Toad at too. Yeah. Yoshi looks great by design, and then the running with Nabbit. I love the updated animations too, especially when Yoshi like eats the spike. It's so different. Like, look. Yeah. Wow. 
I love those cosmic spikes. The dry bones look good. All right. Oh yeah, I love the I love the melon plants. And they're just, I don't know, like hot take melon plant over piranha plant. Thoughts? True. Yeah. I I think melon plant is gonna be a meme. What do you think? Why? I don't know. I just feel I just I just feel like melon plant is gonna turn into a meme at some point. Is meme material? You say? Yeah. Oh I yeah. What did, what are these things flying? Look at these things. Flying, oh yeah, they kind of look like flying Pac-Man if, if you really look at the the mouth. Yeah, kind of, I can see that. Kind of flying Pac-Man. Goombas. Wackatsu. Looking good. I, I'm not a fan of the elephant design, though. I just... Why would why would Nintendo <laughs> take, take this new power-up in a direction to make Mario characters turn into an elephant? Yeah. I'm not a fan of that, but it does look really useful, though, with the trunk being able to squirt water. I don't know, like, I felt like they could, like, this, with this thing Mario just did, he'd uh, open those vines with the trunk. Luigi, I mean, Luigi doesn't look as bad as Mario, but Toad, I don't know. Daisy definitely looks the worst, and then you gotta go with Peach second. I love the fact that of how Mario works with the bubbles, eliminates the enemies who can jump on them for additional like, uh, air platforming jumps, and then being able to run in the air too is really useful. Yeah, for sure. Wait, is this a new... Wait, oh yeah, this is Bubble Peach, right? Yeah. Like, look at the background with the... Look at the stars, the snow, the snow, the lights the houses beautiful when i get when i get to that world i'm just i'm i'm ready i'm ready to smile i'm ready to say wahoo i'm ready to say let's go and i'm just i'm going all out in this game and you're gonna go down when, when me and you make this a let's play series for versus race there you go. so oh yeah it, it was drill peach that's right yep S tier. S tier. Oh yeah, the fact that you could drill into the wall underground and above. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I think it's pretty interesting, to be honest. Definitely oh, a new way. Must. Definitely a new way for moving around and making making uh, ways to other areas. Yeah, I agree. definitely was not expecting that as a new way for uh, platforming. Pretty yeah, unique, and Nintendo did honestly a really good job setting up everything for the game. It honestly looks really polished. It looks ready. It does not look unfinished, unlike other Nintendo games. And I wonder what I wonder what else it has in store. Maybe they'll pull up some maybe they'll add like dlc levels from other games to put as a reference to i, don't, I honestly don't even know i'm so excited Me october too, 20th 2023 the release date i'm gonna pre-order my physical copy and then and then if you pre-order we can be able to play it online and we'll make a time to make this a let's play series so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And what would you give this direct out of ten? Nine point nine. And then out of 10 the only the oh, yeah. only point missing is the daisy elephant. The Took what? The daisy elephant. They're they're missing Took the daisy down. elephant. No, it just put it down like zero point one point <laughs> for the daisy elephant. Yeah, because yeah, I don't like daisy. But everyone, everyone that does like Daisy, that's totally fine with me. I'm just not a fan of her. And the way Luigi walks on the wall is honestly pretty cool. Definitely, uh, definitely a really cool wonder effect. And the different wonder effects I find is the coolest would be 
I mean, I think space might have, you might run into some things where the controls might get technical at some point, you would bump into some spikes. So the best wonder effect for me would either be Fat Mario right here or would be uh, the free fall with Toadette. This is pretty good too. You can get so many coins and being able to buy some stuff and the new achievements or the skill tree for the badges are a new way for the Mario games in the universe so those are gonna, those are going to be fun to collect and to grind through the achievements to 100% the game and I think I want 100% the game fully. What do you think? Me too. Me too. I'm definitely I'm definitely down for that. And these different badges, I honestly forgot all. Battery eighty percent. Connected to. I see. And up here. And yeah, the parachute cap yeah. is pretty cool. The wall climb jump reminds me of Donkey Kong Country. The dolphin kick, pretty cool. Crouching high jump, I think is honestly the kind of useless. Grappling vine, yeah. pretty useful. Safety bounce. The lava is really annoying. And the sensor, I don't really know what that is, but yeah, the coin magnet, invincibility, really cool. And yeah, you can play up to four players on the same console, play online. Everybody's going to be playing this game, and it was trending like nuts today. It's only going to be trending much more. So with that, guys, that's going to be the end. Of the video give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new i'll bring you to 1000 by the end of the year and do you want to say any words like and subscribe and have a good have a good day all right peace guys star gamer x and evolution are out